This article goes over the six elements that make up the concept of academic discipline, focusing on the aspects of learning and organization within these disciplines. Academic disciplines are specific fields of study that one chooses to learn about, and these key factors define the overall concept of one. The article is laid out with six individual quotes with the following analyzation by the author. The author begins by talking about the first attribute of academic discipline, the idea that there must be a specific target research point in which one can study. I agree with the quote as it defines the simple idea of a target study. The author finds that the target study is found at the intersection of learning and organization within a discipline not through prior knowledge. While the first attribute says that target studies can be shared throughout other disciplines, the second attribute says otherwise. The second attribute talks to the idea of specialist knowledge and how each discipline has a set of knowledge that other disciplines would not be informed on. The author begins by talking about how this set of specialized knowledge has come mainly from post-secondary schooling but also how the future of this attribute is more open. The author talks about how low residency and online schooling has and will have an effect on the view of this attribute. I agree with the author on this point as the future of schooling as a whole is viewed as more accessible than what has been seen in the past and the knowledge that comes with this education will be more accessible as well. The third element of an academic discipline describes how there are ideas and concepts that allow one to organize the knowledge and information within a certain discipline. The author goes into talking about how it is hard to organize this knowledge as it expands at an extremely fast rate and how the future of education may, may make this organization even more difficult. I agree with the author in the way that education does expand very quickly and a, research, and a resource to determine the change is needed in, in a future organization process. The fourth discipline talks about how there is a specific language or set of terms that one needs to be fluent with when working in a specific discipline. I agree with this point as, as within a discipline there is a large amount of information that must be processed and the terms or language used must be understood to fully take in the information. The author talks specifically about the discipline and how student-centered and active learning are both terms that belong to the language of the area of study. The fifth element dis discusses how a discipline is built upon the different research methods that are used to study a target area. The author lists various questions that they may ask in researching a larger view on the discipline to describe the idea of research methods and how they are used. The sixth and final aspect of a discipline describes how there must be some type of manifestation or continuation of the discipline for the future. This means that there must be some place where the, student, where the study can be carried out in the form of a class, lecture, or other teaching or researching medium. The author analyzes this point the most as he finds that, quote, it is everywhere and therefore nowhere, end quote. This quote focuses on the idea that a target of study may be so common and popular that it is difficult to actually find a place to research or learn about it. This is an idea that I strongly believe in, as if a discipline were to become part of the norm, it simply would not be as important as it may have been in the past.